I'm going to try again here. That looks pretty good, I would say, on that skate there. So what have I changed? I've tightened up the nozzle. I thought that nozzle had been tightened, but presumably not tight enough. Well, that looks absolutely really good. Well, <laughs> I was going to say absolutely brilliant there on that skirt. have retraction set to 4mm, that's quite a lot on a E3D version 6, mine's a clone here. And all I've changed is to tighten this nozzle up a bit. So, this was a little bit loose, this plate almost Bolt this, screw this bolt down that lifts up this plate here and jams this nozzle against the excavator plate on here. This was a bit loose. I was surprised because I thought it was tight. I assumed it was check, 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 check. That looks really good. see any lifting of plastic so it might not have been the blue filament after all it might have been I mean, not really noticing that that nozzle had come a little bit loose so basically I have these are two washers which have been glued together a little bit of cab between and cut to shape to go around a, this bowden bowden fitting well Really, it's going round the top of the E3D version 6 clone. Uh, hole, 4mm hole. Just a second. No, it's not getting warm. I thought it felt heat there. Weird that. Um, that. There's a hole being tapped in there, and as I turn this, that pushes against this metal plate here and lifts that up. Play a card under here to level it out so it's not, because it will go a little bit wonky as I tighten that up. And that had been just a slight bit loose there. If you heave any knocking, that's just my cardboard here. Check that. I think it's my cardboard. talk about my I have a sheet of cardboard here because there's a door so anybody you know if anybody comes in it's not likely to cause any drafts that might spoil the print it's just an old piece of packing case I'll show you this spool just now the type of plastic I'm using the type of filament and the fan is on for this part, so the fan is actually turning here to blow air along this tube and down under the pins. I am printing another iteration of this out. This one bolts like side to side, but this new one will be bolting like this way on. 
so it should be easier to fit on. There's a few other slight modifications, possibly. Can't even remember what I've done. I've had an awful lot of problems with the files. Neck fabs not verifying them totally. And my normal repair method not working 100%. But I think these files should be okay now. I'll show you the film in a few moments. A bit of fine stuff seems to be sticking up there. You see how that's blowing in the breeze from the, I think that's from the nozzle, not the nozzle, the um, fan shroud, sorry. Here's the black filament I'm using. This has lifted on the right hand side there. And it's catching the print again. Right, so the bed, bed is set to zero, that's the only change, really. Now they tend to say with PLA, which I'm printing, you don't need any bed temperature on. But in the past I've had a lot of problems with printing with no bed temperature on. So it, I did try 60, but now I'm trying zero on the bed. And again, it's starting out looking pretty good. Fan for the part is not on, which I expect at this stage. Don't expect the fan for the part to come on until it's at about 0.5 on the display. At the moment, it's on 0.03 on the display for the Z sort of height. So this might be rotated in a different direction as well to the previous prints. And it's, it's coming up there, I can see it at the back. I can't really, oh yeah, that's, that's okay. And the nozzle is catching again, look at that. Right, I'm going to stop this. Well, I think it's the file that's been causing the problem because I'm trying another file. Well, I tried a cube just before this. Just a typical calibration cube. Came out okay. I wouldn't say absolutely perfect. There's a bit of a like, bump on the edge there, right in the corner. But that came out pretty good. So now I'm trying this other print. And you might notice a poor piece of card. It's just a piece of well, cornflakes, packet cut to size, that's just above the heater block, that's just, because this fan here on the right hand side is blown across the fins and I did notice in my blow test that some of the air was apparently coming down and that would possibly go under the print, so I thought I'd try this piece of cardin to prevent that happening. There's a bit of captain tape on there, that was to try and stick it on so that wouldn't vibrate loose but captain tape doesn't stick to this PLA <laughs> that this was printed in for some unknown reason. But anyway that's what that piece of card is there. The fan on the, this side is not on at the moment. That looks very good.
heat bed is set to 60 and the nozzle is set to 200 here. I recalibrated the extrusion rate. It was slightly out, about 5 millimeters or so over the 100 millimeters. A bit short that is. So it was under extruding if anything, not over extruding. Let me put this other light on from this side. I'll try and show you the uh, fan side. The nozzle height is 0.3 according by the display. Fan is still off, I would expect that. I don't expect it to start up until it gets to 0.5 on the display LCD12864. I'm printing out my, uh, well, like a ruler thing, um, E3D mount measuring gauge. It's just to test this just to see how well this comes out. And the fan is on now, and we're at 0.5 on the display. My understanding in Korea is that the fan here for the part, in this case, does not come on at full speed. Might be hard to tell. We might get some stroking in the camera and we might be able to tell better than actually looking at it with our eyes. That fan there is blown like along this tube and there's a gap in the bottom of that tube and blown down under the print. As I say, this fan doesn't come on full speed. That's what Cover seems to suggest. Not until it gets to the point, well, to the level I've set, which is point 0.6. Yeah. That looks like a good print, looks like it's coming out well, so I'm saying it's the file. I don't think it's this card I put in, I do not think it's that. I definitely think it's the file. Every indication points to it being a bad file. And if you've got a bad file, well, how can you expect it to print out? And that file that I've been printing out with has been repaired in Netfabs and some other services. So, Just trying to see this like fan shroud and I think it is slightly moving at a slight angle it's almost like as it's going left to right it's like moving at, getting almost like drag like that and then dragging this way very slightly I think actually be the whole carriage done that I don't know. It's not lifting. There's no bits of plastic sticking up there. No. No bits of plastic at all. So it's on point zero seven now so that fan should be at its full speed. Just move a different angle. I think this is about, uh, I don't know, uh, about three quarters of an hour an hour print this actually. I'm going to say that, I don't think it might be short actually. I'm going to pause the camera a bit and I'll come back in about, let's have a look, an hour or so I think. 
was a look at. So we 18 minutes into the sprint and it's about quarter of the way through. I'll show you the display. My understanding is that crew switches it on like gradual, not full speed, but does like a ramp up to speed. They might try actually ramping it up from a slower speed, but I've got to remember, well in my case, at least with this small fan I'm using, it won't start spinning until uh, I think it's about 30%. On the percentage there. Let's put the lights back on. And I can't see any problems with that print. So I'm going to pause the camera and then I'll come back in about an hour I think it'll be. Well there we are, it's finished. Bed's had time to cool down yet. And it, oh yeah, good amount of traction. This is one I printed out earlier, blue PLA, so we can compare them. and it certainly looks better over here and it looks a little bit better than this area have these numbers on, measurement numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, it's for E3D version 6, so kind of there, so here's the black one, the blue one certainly come out better than this, look at that there, I mean you can make out a number there, there is a zero because there are some measurements going this way as well. Side to side, so to speak. Oh, it's like certainly curl in there. Definite curl. from those bits of imperfections not too bad at least didn't cause the major problems we always having so obviously it seems to be the file yep, the skirt comes off so sometimes the problems with your prints aren't always your printer the files 